Oh my god, try it. Does it smell good? It smells like Christmas. I'm so excited. It tastes like it's Christmas. beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah, it's beginning to taste like Everywhere you go. Hi everyone, it's Sinead with Free Tours by Foot London. I have a guest who's with me again. I could not do a nighttime South Bank tour without my best buddy in the world. Say hi, Maureen. Hi. So we're here together. Uh, this is our Friday night out. Now we're not gonna tour our we Moors tonight. I don't think there's any touring, but I'll tell you what we are gonna do. Shop, eat, and drink. drink. Sound good? <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, the Christmas markets have opened. I am so excited. Do not say it's premature. It's never too early for Christmas in this city. The place looks absolutely amazing. Get excited. It's Guy Fawkes night. It's the 5th of November. There's a lot of activity around. Um, not entirely sure what we're going to eat or drink. I know mulled wine is in mulled our future. Wine. You absolutely believe that, right? So, so right. Wine. Oh, gorgeous. Gotcha. It is nippy by the river, and it's actually funny because I've just taken off my hat, but I want to show you around because I want to show you this amazing light sculpture that's here on the Queen's Walk right on the South Bank. Now, let me turn you around. Okay, ladies and gents. So, now look at this amazing neon light structure. This beautiful light installation is by a chap called David Ogle and it's going to be running here through the entire of Christmas but the neon lights are lighting up the Queen's Walk here which is on the South Bank. Now it's not as busy as expected. Um, there is some helicopters above us here. Now for those of you um, that are just joining us for the first time this is night time. We're on the South Bank. Now we arrived at Waterloo and we're going to make our way towards Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament which are all lit up but right now Let's soak in the stunning atmosphere. Look, isn't it gorgeous, Moors? Oh my God, look at this, folks. So this is one of many, there's another three light exhibitions taking place, but the other one is inside the South Bank Center. And we may later on, after a mull wine or three, head inside there. Now, just to get started, folks, before we continue, I just want to say personally, Thank you most sincerely, you amazing people. It is like I have one big family from all around the world. Your tips, your contributions, your contributions through YouTube with that thanks button is invaluable to us because that makes us, finances us, and makes sure we can continue these amazing tours. I've also wanted to remind you that I am available for private tours, folks, and they are booking up pretty quick, so I expect I'll be bringing some of you on nights out around London here. Uh, like myself and Maureen are having nights out. This is Friday night, and normally we'd be going to a gig, wouldn't we, Morris? But unfortunately, the gigs are a bit few and far between, so instead, what we're gonna do is eat and drink. And we said we might as well bring you guys with us. Now, this is the first of the Christmas markets that's opened up. Now, this is on the South Bank, and the South Bank you will be familiar with if you've seen our London by Night tour which runs all the way from London Bridge all the way down here to the London Eye. And we're gonna cover everything tonight on this little walk. So I just want you to bring you in the lights as well, but we're coming up on some of the stalls and the reason I know that is I can smell them. Oh my God, it sm sounds, smells amazing, doesn't it? Don't know what we're gonna have, but here's Wagamama. All these fabulous places are busy tonight. There's a lot of people at all the restaurants, there's foils and of course the Pret Manger. That's the Giraffe Cafe there, that kind of, it's gorgeous from that angle, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's really beautiful. It's a great addition to the South Bank at the moment. So I was a little worried about the lighting for this tour, but I needn't bother because it's so bright down here. It's fabulous. Now, not many Christmas trees just yet. It's still a bit early. But that's okay. We love a good Christmas market. Now, our Christmas playlist will be going up very shortly. We'll be heading to all the different markets. I'll be taking you to the Winter Wonderland. We'll be arriving. We might even go and search a Santa Claus somewhere. Um, I'll spare you my Christmas carol singing yet, but I can't guarantee that won't happen in a couple of minutes. After maybe one of these brews. Will we have one of these craft beers, Maureen? Oh my God, look at this amazing vehicle, you guys. That's epic. <laughs> so this is one of the first stalls we've come on. So, I mean, we should really 
have a little beer already, should we, Maureen? Yeah, I think we'll have a little Let's have a feral brewing. I'm assuming it's a craft ale. We'll find out all about it. Oh my God, are we actually tempted for those fries? I wonder what they are. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it car payment yeah, only, yeah. I wonder? Hi guys, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Oh my god, that looks great. I wonder what that is. Can we just get a little look at that? Oh my god, honey, that looks amazing. Right, we're I'm totally sure sold. Good, right? Thank you, thank you. Sold. I think we have to have that, don't we, Morris? Yeah? All right. Okay, so. Feral Brewing. We'll just ask him a little bit about the beer that he's selling here. In just a minute. What were we? What's on the menu? Let's have a look. So we got fondue fries. And crispy onions for five bucks and we have bacon poutine and french dip gravy for six pounds now i know in canada i believe it's fries with gravy is poutine but in ireland poutine is a very different what is it morris it's like um it's a hundred percent illegal it's like moonshine well yeah but brewed from potatoes brewed from potatoes that's right yeah did you ever get your hands on a bottle? I did every Christmas. Oh, yeah, there was always it's 100% proof. And you... <laughs> so it's like moonshine in the States. Oh my God. <laughs> and you would literally be arrested. I know there's distilleries all over uh, south of Ireland. Anyway, I know there is in Cork and places, but uh, I don't want to say too much. So, yeah, okay. Well, we won't wait. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll get some beers first. Did the beer lovely? Where's it from? It's from the Isle of Dogs in East London. Oh, stop it, they brew it all the way. Just in East London. Oh my God, great. We've got to try that. We've got to try the local brew. That sounds terrific. Look at that lushness, folks. I know, look at I have to have hot sauce and everything. I am a disaster. Maureen knows that because she's like, cooks for me all the time. It's probably the only homemade meal I ever get when I'm in London. <laughs> Delish. Right, so that's our first little indulgence of the evening. Beer and fries. That ain't all bad, is it? Right, so I'm dying to get into this. Let's have a look. <laughs> You're not a huge fan of cheese. Oh my God, we're gonna have mad onion that's bread, okay. but let's have a go. I'll leave you, I'll leave you the cheese. Mm. We're not planning on meat anyone, so. Oh my God, that is delicious. Mm. Don't you love that? Wow. Sorry, do I look like a lush here? We kind of like do, don't we? Outdoor food and beers. You can get the river. hot sauce, the perfect Friday night. Yeah. We're gonna have cheese dripping all down our faces. Mm. Right. I really can't have you watching me eat all this like an animal, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're still munching and drinking, of course. Um, we were just talking about the price of this. Actually, you guys, it's not bad. There's two of us here. We have two beers and this lovely cheese box here between us with melted mozzarella and cheddar. Switch just cheese. one second. It's that train, isn't it? Yeah, like if you were just having a little night out, this would be perfectly sufficient. Well, it would. It's lovely. It's a nice little uh, treat. So we had had melted mozzarella, Swiss cheddar, on top of fries with fried onions, big bucket of it there you can see, with two forks and two beers, 1090. Yeah. So that's not bad, that's pretty standard. I expected it would be a lot more expensive, but it's not bad. So uh, on to our next stop, coming up. Okay, I do want a Mulvine. I'm having a Mulvine, of course I am. You guys, that was absolutely delicious. And we didn't want to put you through the sufferance of watching us demolishing them all. Well, we didn't, we were actually quite civilized. Poutine, by the way, is the exact same thing we've had. Cheese, chips, and gravy, with I believe some bacon bits. So, poutine, I think it's called in Canada. Now, oh my God, love a hot dog. Oh, it does say, oh yeah, oh my dog. I did, yeah, I didn't know. Oh God almighty, I'm losing it. That's the one beer. So we're actually bringing you out on the drink with us tonight, you guys. So, um, love, love hot dogs. Always did since living in New York. People are horrified, but I mean, nothing like coming out of Grand Central and going to one of those hot dog trolleys and having one. Maureen would never do that. I absolutely love it. Now, it's getting a little busier, as you can see. Okay, we're gonna go get a Mulvine. All right, we're getting the Mulvine. That's the queue. Right, 
you get in the queue and let me have a quick look around. So this is the duck shed. To give you an idea what you can get, slow roasted whole duck, crispy breaded brie and bacon, pig and stuffing, cranberry bacon and jam. The British Christmas Quacker for £10.50. Then it's the Vietnamese duck. They a fan of duck? This is absolutely for you. Let me just see what they have on offer. See that there, you guys. It's not incredible. So it is getting that little bit busier. Now, when we arrived, it was a little quieter, but that's okay. There's a queue here now for mull wine. You know it's Christmas when mull wine is back. Look at the stunning soil. Look how look how they've decked it out. Look at Audrey Hepburn. Oh my god, what's the name of your wine bar, my lovely? Yes, yeah, so you're just here with the craft ale. We just had the cheese fries, yeah. Oh my god, so the same company. How groovy. Well we're going there. We're definitely going to film there, Maureen. hundred percent. Look. That's right, he did his, uh, most of his books in there, didn't he? Oh my God, look at this, you guys. The effort that you've put into this stall is insane, folks. You deserve business. Thank you very much, you guys. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, so the same company, Plume. Any excuse to go to the Covent Garden one? Oh my God, try it. Does it smell good? Smells like Christmas. I'm so excited. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to taste like Everywhere you go. Sorry, I saw something with brownies. <laughs> Over here, where did you see this? Let's go. Right, I'm turning you around again, folks. Okay, I've got to get some cookies and yeah. brownies yeah. and something. For the do you know what? I had a look over here and look okay. what they do. They do amazing s'mores. Now, What's s'mores, that? right, are kind of marshmallows with chocolate. Oh, okay. Warm chocolate brownie topped and toasted mas marshmallow and crumble biscuit. Now, I mean, you guys, I know that it's very popular in America. The only reason I know about it is I saw it on this morning being... Um, made yesterday morning on the this morning show here so this is lullen sweets and brownies and let's just see what he's got on offer i don't think i'm going to wait for ice cream now or s'mores or anything like that but i wouldn't mind trying a bit of the brownie they look, the brownies look amazing so you have chocolate raspberry coconut and ferrero i hope we're making you super hungry right now you guys i'm so sorry you can't try it with us get a little selection well, get a selection so because I think your your boys at home would love four some. Four for ten pounds. So I'm going to get four. Get four for ten, yeah, and we'll have one between us. Is that yeah. all right? Will we do one between us? But just make sure you have one for the boys. But I'll leave that. I'll leave you choose. Will you make sure that you get like no. a brownie what though? What brownie do you want? Come on, this is your this is your brownie to go with your. I own guess wine. chocolate. I'm kind of boring when it comes to brownies. Chocolate brownie would be lovely. Okay, did we decide what we'd like? Chocolate and brownie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a two coconuts and two chocolates. Great. Yeah, that would be great. Oh your stuff is amazing, lovely. What is this? It's gorgeous. Oh my god, I love that. What is that? White chocolate. So they all come with a generous layer of uh, chocolate. Of? Except for the cinnamon. Obviously. Oh, no, no, cinnamon for me. This is cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need the cinnamon. We're virtual opposites. She adores cinnamon and I don't like cinnamon. <laughs> oh, my God, brownies. I'm so excited. This mulled wine is delish, by the way, folks. God, it really is Christmas now, isn't it? Well, it's not, but it is. You feel like it is because it's back. It's in London. I'm so excited to show you around during Christmas. So our Christmas playlist, we will be doing, as previously mentioned, I'll be doing all of the Christmas markets in London. I'm going to go into some of the stores, the bigger stores, department stores as well, and to show you the Christmas trees and the fest 
festivities and the gorgeous decorations, the award-winning Fortnum and Masons. All right, you know what? We'll have them in a minute. Let's have a look at the stalls. We'll definitely try that in a second. Then we're going to do Winter Wonderland. We will do, I know, look at this. These old mats are gorgeous. I'd love one of them in the apartment. Look at the butterflies at the back. So what have we got here? Arabia, Ar oh my God. So they have the different countries and the old style maps. Arabia, is Ireland there? Can you see Ireland anywhere? Dublin, look at Dublin there. Oh my God, it's a lovely Ireland. unique. Oh wow, do you mind? Oh my God, thank you. Oh wow, oh my God, Maureen, you know we have to have it. Look at that in all the provinces. Ulster, Munster, Leinster and Connacht. Okay. Me and uh, Maureen are both from Killarney, County Kerry, which is down here on the southwest coast. Yeah. Do you try and point it out? I can't really right now because it's gonna be. the mull wine is getting in the way and that's never going to get in the way. Oh my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> She's just shown us here. There's another amazing one, folks. Now, obviously, I'm predisposed because I'm from Ireland, well, the but these ones are £45, the, pounds, one. the larger ones. And London the smaller maps. ones are 25. But let's have a look at the London. Any New York there as well? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, and we're going to make you work if you don't mind. But what a beautiful gift. Oh, look, amazing. so that's the city of Westminster, Southwark. That's all of London. That's amazing with the River Thames running through. 1847 New York. Wow. Oh that my just God. Looks so pretty. Can we lift it up a little bit for the customers? Oh, oh that's wow. Amazing. That's really beautiful. We're definitely going to have to get one Ireland one anyway. Archival paper. Archival paper. And linen backed. Back. 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 Oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, I'm going to get the £25 one. Are we getting two? Yeah, we have to have it, but we'll have to get them framed, of course. Oh. Well, the London one I would definitely get as well. I mean, you're here till when? When are you here until? Twenty-seventh of September. December. Of December. Oh, that's great. So she's going to be here again. Oh my God! But I'd say we'll end up with three of them. But that'll be lovely. I'd like that in my house. New York, the most important cities to me: New York, London, and Ireland. Okay. So we've got. All right. We'll just sort this out. Right, so Maureen has been my assistant tonight, and I really do appreciate it because you see, I've got the camera. Poor girl has laid it down with stuff. But what were you saying, Maureen? London, 1794, London. It's like these are the kind of things you don't get in a normal shop. So you come to the Christmas market, you get a really unusual thing. These would be like a really good Christmas present for someone. Couldn't agree more. Like Couldn't agree Aberdeen, more. Uh, Aberdeen, Aberdeen Austria, world, really South America. But it was such a novel idea as well. It's going to make her quite a lot of money over the season, isn't it? Well done, it's really lovely. Thank you, thank you. You too, lovely, thank you. Right, let's have a look around. So that's another purchase by us. Oh my God. <laughs> We're spending like Ivana and Donald Trump now tonight, darling, Melania. Unfortunately, we don't have money like that, but alas. Lulin tea and coffee, okay. I don't know Lulin brand, do you, Lulin? I mean, we know Twining's a Fortnum and Mason. We're not tea people, we're more no, coffee course. people. I feel like a bit of lemongrass, so. It's another hot tea stall. These look lovely. Would you like a Moroccan mint? I'm not a big fan. Mint tea, I would. Yeah. I'm not afraid of herbal teas, but yeah. The mulled wine is quite nice right now. I don't mulled wine is going down very well, folks. So the only thing I'm a little upset about, you guys, is the trains we keep are. really loud ahead of us. We're but look over here, we've got more alcohol. <laughs> okay. Eggnog for £65. That must be like uh, a litre of it or something. Espresso martinis, beers. Got it all going on. Mulled gin. Oh, six pounds fifty. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Six pounds fifty for eggnog. Do you know it's something I've never tried actually? I know that sounds quite lewd. Have you not tried that when you lived in the US? I know. Yeah, it's amazing. Mulled gin. 
Lemon and cardamom hot toddy. You have to try mulgin. Oh, I'd love mulgin. Hot pineapple spice rum. But I'm still working. Back to this. Okay, we'll come back. I want to see these. I'm still working on that. Let's have a look. Oh my God, look at them. Oh wow. Isn't that epic? It's quite trippy, actually. Again. No, what I'm really interested in, though, that they're beautiful. But I want to have a look at these signs. There's some great little vintage signs here. Now this chap doesn't mind me going inside. But he's making a swift exit. <laughs> he's so funny. I did speak to him, but he didn't want any to be on camera, which is perfectly fine. But look at all these. These are epic. Now, there's one of the Joker there. Oh, is that the uh, Joaquin Phoenix one it is? I love these old signs. I, do you know what I'd love? Oh, my God. Look at my hero. Superman. I went in a store just similar to this in the Notting Hill and Portobello um, video folks don't forget to check that one out as well so a store a much bigger one than this but oh my god there's pink floyd the wall oh, that's cool. I like that. i'd love that yeah, yeah i'd love that oh my god where would i put it i have it i'm trying to do a little rock and roll wall in my house oh look at the banksy yeah the banksy on top now there was another one over here that we were interested in there was an irish one again wasn't there the jurassic park there's freddie a man's home is his castle, but his garage is his sanctuary. Yeah, well, that doesn't apply. Oh, Amy, that. stay tuned, folks. I just want to kind of gauge some interest about an Amy Winehouse tour. Thinking about doing all of Amy's. Oh, this was, um, kind of the posters oh, this was her gigs, yeah, in 2006. See, I kind of missed a gig of Amy because I was in America at the time. I'm awful sorry. You saw her, though, Maureen, didn't you? I, Did you I, not see her support? Oh no, that was my friend Deirdre. That no, was Deirdre. She supported Amy someone. Sing one song in the O2 on the last night of Prince's Run. That's right. You saw her with Prince. That's, that's right. Yeah. I'm not the boss. I just have better ideas. Well, that's a good point. Okay, so that's a really cool stall. Dutch pancakes. I don't think we're able for any more food. Well, we are, but not on camera. So you've obviously got your standard Polish deli. They do amazing like uh, Polish, almost like Polish hot dogs, but I know that that's not how you call it, you guys. I'm wondering if they chili worst. Oh, wow, look at the size of them, they're amazing. If I just get a, if I just, thank you. Oh, wow, terrific, you guys. Ooh, pork sausage baguettes. Sorry, honey. Right, let's have a look here. Applebee's fish. Oh, fresh fish cooked on the spot. Shrimp, prawns. Oh, we are the trains, yeah. Prawn wraps. Speaking of Amy, she's singing Valerie. Prawn wraps, Cajun fish wraps. All right, let's keep going. Right, so let's have a look at this Instagram, or this girl here that is... Oh, she's attracting a large crowd, you guys. Listen to her. shark for her oh no i gotta get this on camera oh, can, I, can i youtube this Is that adorable? Kicking off in the South Bank, you guys. It's <laughs> buzzing here. Look, everyone's having a great time. It's brilliant. Oh, 
right. Now let's go in between the bridge here, will we? I want to check this out. I've never been in here, actually. So we're going to have a look inside here. It looks epic in here. Um, this is a bar and a restaurant again, as far as I know. And the London Eye. Stay tuned, you guys. Wait till you see me. I am going to be releasing... I, well, it's released, actually. It's been published. My London Eye tour. I hope you enjoyed that one. I had fun up there. I wasn't as nervous up there as I was in the cable cars. The cable cars kind of freaked me out a little bit. But we're going to head in here. Right, let's check this place out. Okay, let's check this place out. This is food and drink in here. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at this. Oh, the DJ as well. Oh, I like this vibe in here, folks. Oh, we got some more stalls in here as well. Pretty cool. Look at these guys in front of us. I'm holding everyone up. Look at this. So these are little seating areas. Look how festive that is. Do you know, surprisingly enough, I thought it was going to be really cold tonight, but it's not. It's absolutely fabulous. This is like the perfect Friday so far. Maybe that's because I've had the mull wine, the beer, and trust me, I will be going back for an espresso martini. The Headless Horseman. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's just a bar. Okay, so that's a little bar area, the Headless Horseman. Can I go in? Thank you. Oh, wow, look at this, you guys. Great vibe. Do you know what? It's so funny. I've never been down here. And isn't it a lovely alternative to being inside in a busy bar on a Friday night? It's a gorgeous alternative. Thank you, lovely. Look how decorative and ornate this is. Oh, so this is for our Instagrams, you guys. Look how pretty. Halloween Sunday, Hocus Pocus drag, 6 p.m. Joe Black drag at 8 p.m. Oh my God, it must be advertising a drag show. That's something for the future as well. We used to love them in New York. Okay, so just so as you know, if you are in the area, you've got your toilets as well here in the corner. So plenty of facilities available, but look at this. So we've got the Reaper's Arms. So this is obviously a Halloween themed. So everyone's great. They've all let me in. Thanks guys. Oh my God, and it's heated in here, you guys. DJ Mama, isn't it fab? Hi, how are you? I'm gonna get hit with copyright oh my god you guys I'm so sorry I had to come out of there I just thought we're gonna get a hit with copyright for the music YouTube are very strict on that folks so we'll have to do a little voiceover we'll get some music to do a voiceover in there but I just wanted to show you inside so this is the world's number one vodka Ooh, the Smirnoff taste exchange no, not my not my vibe actually. It was never really a vodka girl. Um, yeah, of course I was. I did have vodka Red Bulls when I was younger. Will we head in here for a minute, Maureen? Yeah, let's go and have a look here. Oh, another food court in here. Oh my God, this is like a whole new section. I think this is not part of the Christmas market. But I think, no, this is not. This is a, yeah, this is pop-up, though, I think. Yeah. And but it seems to be quite halloween theme, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, so loads of other food stalls down here. It looks super busy. And I'm kind of more interested in getting you in a minute down towards the London Eye. And I want to go on Westminster Bridge as well. What 
another great little trip. Friday night in London, folks. Where in the world would you be? This is definitely going to be on my tour guide list. Woodford Pizza. Right? If you're coming here with your kids. Oh my God, yeah, it'd be great for kids. Well, we'd be kind of restricted on our mull wine consumption if the kids were here, wouldn't we? So, <laughs> we will not, we shall not bring the children on a Friday night. <laughs> Ooh, well, who doesn't love fried okay, chicken? Okay, do you want to, you, do you want to get some fried chicken? Um, I want another drink actually. Is that really bad? Cheerios, fries. Oh, hot dogs. Actually, this place is lovely because there's some seats and it's so not, it's not, it's colorful. Indoor, outdoor, so it feels quite nice. Right, let's get another drink somewhere. guys look at this um, it's vibing it's buzzing oh so we got some mac and cheese here as well look at that love mac and cheese oh that's gorgeous those are nachos oh nachos maureen we gotta have some nachos beef chili tortilla crisp sour cream and jalapenos that sound good Oh, it's mac and cheese pots. Oh, I see. So there's mac and cheese, chili, tortilla. Oh, wow. Lush, lush, lush. Yeah, let's go to the Christmas market. We're going to go and get an espresso martini, you guys. All right. Back out onto the main strip again okay so that's the inside though that was well work coming into wasn't YouTube it Morris? does not capture the smell it smells amazing i there. know the smells are <laughs> gorgeous so that's the one thing that you're missing out on folks and i know i'm probably going to be making you hungry but that's okay you'll know where to come when you come here i think even after a busy day christmas shopping in london you could come down here uh, have a and drink, hang out, have yeah, some food. absolutely. Loads of seating. Let me ask the champ. Ask the champ how long it's going to be here for. Do you mind, Maureen? So you just come out the main exit here again. Maureen is like my amazing assistant tonight. She's helping me out. Let's go and have a look at the carousel. Take us back out around the skate park. I'm back out on the main strip again. So Maureen is back. She just told me she asked the chap there. That's permanent now here on the South Bank, folks. So obviously the food stalls will change every now and then. And that's usually how they work between the bridges. That's usually how they work. Everybody gets a pitch there every now and then. Some of them would be permanent pitches. You hear the buskers in the background, but look at the carousel. Oh, here's Mull Wine, Maureen. Mull Wine, hot whiskey. And spice cider. Oh, wow. Mull Wine or you want espresso martini? I don't think they do an espresso martini here, no, do they? The we'll find... Back here. No, I'm happy enough to get like Mul another... Wine. Yeah, I think so. Will I try spice yeah. cider, maybe? Okay. Oh, cute. Right, let's keep walking. We'll come back. Okay, so look at the gorgeous carousel. Now, I featured that already in the London by Night tour, but I don't think it was as lit up and as... We really should get up there, shouldn't we, Maureen? <laughs> She's all we know we shouldn't. I would totally get up there. You get on. I'll film me for all your fans. You can wave. Oh, my God, I really want to go on there. Um, okay, I'm not going to embarrass myself, <laughs> I really haven't. You know what I'm like. Oh, look at the little boy, look at little Churchill. Hello. Look at him. Hi, sweetie. Isn't he gorgeous? Hi, lovely. So, 
Here we have the London Eye all lit up by night for us. Now we will speed up a little bit because I want to take you onto Westminster Bridge. Now we're going to walk along here where it's lovely and lit. And what's this? Oh, this is your, oh my God, of course, I had to be a fish and chip store. I was wondering where it was. Oh my God, you love fish and chips in London when you come, folks. So good. It's always a good time for, that's a battered sausage. That's fish and chips. They're called Savaloys. Quintessentially. Oh my God. What English, is English Friday night? You need fish. And Friday chips. night fish supper is what is traditional on a Friday night in London. The guys are getting just chips. Okay, so it's a little dark along here. So let's walk along the Queen's Walk here. Ooh, I see a lot of flashing blue lights around by down there by Big Ben. So. You see Big Ben ahead there, folks. What is this? This is so pretty lit up. Oh yeah, this is the pub on the Thames. So this is, um, okay. what do they call that? I've, I've been on there several times, naturally. Oh, All along, do you see it there? Oh. Um, that is, what do they call that? The barge. Um, oh yeah, the Tilson barge. Tattersall's, oh. Tattersall's barge. Yeah, so you can get a drink on the water there folks and it's an amazing view from the background actually you know what we might head in that direction Maureen Sullivan so you'll see Big Ben in the background there folks he's all lit up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward well I'm not really I'm gonna go as far as the London Eye but because it's quite dark from the London Eye to Westminster Bridge We'll walk as far as Westminster Bridge and I want to get on the bridge because I just want to show you one of the newest clock faces of Big Ben that is all lit up for us so you can finally see. He's under scaffolding still. Um, the, they expected he would have been finished by the New Year's Eve this year. Um, it was supposed to be after four years, but I mean, who knows? with COVID and delays in construction. Is that on track? Not 100% sure, but it would be really amazing if it was. I cannot wait for him to be back up and running. Now, the London Eye. Check out my London Eye tour, folks. I actually take you on a trip around the London Eye. Don't forget to check that out as well. And we'll make our way up here towards the aquarium, the London Dungeons, and that takes us out onto Westminster Bridge where you can get a magnificent view of the Houses of Parliament. Okay, I feel like we should have brought a mull wine with us, should we? Yeah. Yeah, says Maureen. She's <laughs> looking at me as if I have two heads. Of course. Right, so maybe we can stall here for a minute and we'll go back and get a mull wine and we'll continue then in two seconds. So we're going to continue on from the London Eye. There's some lovely sparklers there, you guys. Um, Guy Fawkes Night usually would have fireworks and we were kind of half expecting them by Parliament, but apparently they were cancelled. I guess it's, the mayor doesn't want to attract crowds. So I just want to take you up onto Westminster Bridge and we will continue our night out. Me and Maureen, we're going to go to probably one of the more famous pubs in Parliament Square. And for right now though, I want to give you an amazing shot of Big Ben. One of the clock faces is finally visible from the river. So that's where I'm taking you. So this again, folks, is all along here. Obviously, we're under the London Eye. You will be seeing my London Eye video. I'll get a good shot of it now in a minute when I'm on the bridge. And we're going to head up here and get an amazing view of the new clock face of Big Ben. I love the way they've lit up the scaffolding. They've lit up the scaffolding tonight, haven't they? Yeah. To highlight it. I wonder will they be um, will it be ready for New Year's? Oh my God, how amazing would that be? So you see the bridge ahead of you there. Oh my God, it's well lit as well, which is amazing. 
So that bridge you see there is Westminster Bridge with the green lights underneath. Again, I do highlight that in my Lambeth Bridge to Victoria Gardens and Parliament Square video. So the green is to represent the seats in the House of Commons, but here is one of the more popular attractions as well in London for the families. You did, didn't you? Went there recently. I've been in there, the London Dungeons. Really good. Still open tonight. It is good for kids, yeah. So there's the pricing for the London Dungeons, but you can buy multiple tickets for the London Dungeons, Madame Tussauds Aquarium, and the London Eye. They're all interconnected. You see the little lanterns here. Oh, the place is buzzing tonight. It's amazing. It's a great atmosphere around, folks. We'll head down this direction. Here's Shrek Adventure World. That's another one I've been inside of. And if you're wondering why, well, that was to do with when I was guiding. We were given free nights in all of these attractions to promote them when we were working on the open top buses in London. That's in the works as well, folks. I'm going to do an open top bus tour of London. So there is some random fireworks around, but I don't want to turn you around just yet because there's an amazing view coming up. Here's the aquarium, by the way. And I keep telling you this, but we will be publishing a video of me inside in the aquarium as well. I did a video of that. And now look at the view we're getting. So we've had an amazing night at the Christmas market. I'm so looking forward to taking you around to the other ones. And there's so much more to see. Mull wine, so much more. <laughs> so much more mull wine to consume. Of course it is. Mull gin, that's my first mulled gin ever. And I must say, it was absolutely exquisite. So it beats like a traditional night in the pub. And you saw all the outdoor places that you can drink as well. There's a helicopter hovering overhead. You might have heard it all night. I think that they were publicized that there might have been fireworks in this area tonight. But I believe it's been canceled. So people came. They did advertise it online. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hello. It's got a little bit. Good timing. This is just some people with their own fireworks, I think. The official ones are cancelled, but... And here we go. Right, so we'll cross the road because probably one of the best views is across here. No traffic. Sorry about the jaywalking, folks. I know some of you are very uncomfortable with me jaywalking. But again, I have to blame New York for that. Now, here we go. Look at this view. There you have it from the river, the Houses of Parliament. And Big Ben. We're going to get a little closer. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, yeah. So you have Lambeth Bridge. And in the background, the US Embassy, MI6 is down there. It's a little difficult to point them all out at this hour of the night. But another lovely thing to do in London is you can take a river cruise by night along the river and have dinner on board. We're just going to walk towards the new Navy, Cock Face of Big Ben. Isn't that a gorgeous sight, Maureen? Yeah, that's really cool. I love this view. Probably one of my best view, my favorite views in London. Scenic and it will be a there. lot so more times. scenic. In our 20 odd years. My God, they're really showing the new clock face and yeah. they've even highlighted really the scaffolding. I've never seen it looking that lovely gold color. It right? Black. Yeah, it did, because, and that was because of pollution. So originally the clock face was navy, which it is right now. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It looks so lovely right now. 
and that's all it is 25 past eight but we us old women feel like it's 25 past no, 12. No. Old women are going to we're going for a nice little here. more of a cocktail right now look at that view i'm just going to bring you a little closer to big ben and then we shall bid you adieu we hope you enjoy spending friday night with us these beautiful lanterns we certainly enjoyed our friday night let's hope you had a wine or two on the way now i'm going to do you one spin around there now look at the london eye by night all pink tonight and that is london by night the south bank christmas markets Sinead and Maureen on the gin. Thanks for joining us. So guys, we're leaving, we're signing out. We're gonna head for another cocktail. Just get this amazing view in the background from Sinead and Maureen. Um, actually, we hear a little bit of fireworks in the back. Not the official ones, but I'm gonna show you what is happening down here. But for right now, like and subscribe, you guys. Hope you enjoyed our night out. We're not finished yet, but that is our own personal time. Let's go for a few more cocktails. Bye.